what's up guys let's do our final batch reactor uh, model which will be the half-life methods uh, the thing here is that we're going to use the definition of half-life so let me remind it to you half-life of a reaction or t half or t one half whatever you want to use is defined as the time it takes for the re concentration of the reactant to fall to a half of its initial value what does that mean is essentially you have an initial concentration of let's say 100 and that's time zero and then time let's say 10 seconds we're going to have half of that so what will be the half of CA0 will be 50 so you have a half time of 10 seconds it's very useful in many areas especially in radioactive decay but we will be using it on the method of excess parallelite so I mean we're going to use the method of access parallel to it. So first we apply it and then we use the half-life method. Now, as, let me give you this example. A turns into products. So I'm going to choose the rate of reaction. And this is exactly this here. The derivative of concentration with respect of time equals minus RA. And what's RA? I told you it's this. So let me substitute here. And once again, you know it probably. What are we going to do? I'm loving this. You do the integral here to the left from the initial to final and zero to t or time, whatever you want to call it. And hopefully you know how to integrate this. It's actually x to the n, you integrate it as and, and one to the x. Okay, so it's here, essentially. A n minus one, sorry. Anyways, it's here. And this here, you need to evaluate in CA0 and CA variable. Mm, or actually, this is already final. And you know this here is positive. So I want to let alone temperature uh, time. So I go here. My constant is here. Order minus 1 is here. No, actually, it's not order. Alpha minus 1. And then 1 over this here and this here. I still de continue developing. I take out this. Uh, not this here, so I can do this fraction. So this is just mathematics and algebra, guys. So if you're not interested, you just want to see the final form. Just go here, and well, go here. I'm going to apply the half time here, so this will be the half time needed, and the concentration or initial concentration here. Good. So I get half time here. I got half of the initial concentration which is here, I'm just doing this data, and I still solve, get this, and get to this equation, or if you want to take this a little bit outside, I have this part right here, times this part right here, and I love it because I don't need uh, many data, if I got only the time needed to get to the half, I can just substitute, let's say, the 10 seconds we said before, we can substitute here, k, you should know it by far, I think, and alpha, no, of initial concentration here. So, be sure to set the time to that fraction because you can also do it to one eighth of the one eighth of the time, so how many time do you need to get into the one eighth? Because maybe you're asking yourself, well, using one half is totally like random, why I wouldn't use three times or three fourths or one fourth or five eight whatever yes you can do it just be sure that you need to change this number right here actually the general equation will be the nth time which will be time needed to get to the one end here you substitute these two here and everything else stays the same and what you want to do here is or at least if you want to graph it graph this data you will find out that the aim here uh, the slope is this here so you want to calculate the alpha which is the order be sure that the slope is not actually the uh, the alpha or the order as in other methods so please don't think this is always the case actually the slope equals 1 minus the order so if you want to calculate the order it will be 1 minus the slope so I got it where is it uh, is it here? Yeah, of uh, it's one minus m. Okay. Uh, yeah, just substitute in m, and you will get the order. So perfect. 
We're done with this example. If you want to check more, go here. I'm not going to do exercise here, but you can check them in the web page. Go to the Reactor Engineering course, Solve Problems, Chapter 5, and you will find a lot of material. And this was the half lives method. I'm very happy to tell you that we are done with section 1, which is, I would say, 80% of the course. Not, not the course, of the chapter. We're going to start with differential reactors, or how do we do the analysis for this, essentially for PBR. So see you in the next video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.